We are making a quick chicken stir fry and these are our ingredients. Boneless chicken thighs that we are going to slice in bite-sized pieces. I have a green pepper as well as a red pepper and some scallions to garnish the dish. Onion, about three cloves of garlic that we are going to mince very fine. Whole young corn from the can. Straw mushrooms. For the sauce, we will need soy sauce. A little bit of vinegar, any kind of vinegar will do. Sambal or chili garlic paste. Mustard, ideally Chinese mustard, but this is all I have and this works. A little bit of salt to taste, sugar, and cracked peppercorns. All of the measurements and ingredients are going to be listed in the description below. I've cut the boneless chicken thighs into nice bite-sized pieces. I'm going to put it in a bowl where we are going to create our marinade. About three tablespoons of soy sauce. We're adding about two teaspoons of sugar, some pepper, a teaspoon and a half of mustard, one tablespoon of vinegar, and just a pinch of salt. I'm also adding a teaspoon of the sambal chili garlic paste. So we are going to mix this. This is going to be a very pretty dish. Look at the colors. We are now making our sauce for the actual stir fry itself. We are mimicking the flavors that we added to the chicken marinade. A quarter cup of soy sauce. A tablespoon of vinegar, a little bit of our mustard, the sugar. I'm adding one teaspoon, but if you want it a little spicier, you could certainly add a little bit more. A little pepper. A little bit of chicken stock or water if you don't have chicken stock. So I and I will have two definite sauce recipes in the description below. We are using cornstarch for our slurry. When you make your slurry, make sure that your water is cold. We will add about a tablespoon and just put it on the side. The next step is to add cornstarch in your chicken as well. We will just need a little bit to coat the chicken so it will brown nicely. We're going to pan fry our marinated chicken in two portions.
Next will be our uh, red and green peppers. I'm just splashing a little bit of chicken broth just to steam it. I drained out the water and this is how they look like. We're adding just half of our sauce for now. So let's add half of that. And we will cover it for a minute or so. Just so we know that our vegetables are still crisp but tender. Add the chicken back. You can now add the rest of the sauce. Adding the slurry. If you want a little more sauce or you want it less tight, you could add a little bit more water or chicken stock. Now that's what you call a pretty dish. Mm-mm-mm. So good. Thank you for watching. Maraming salamat po.